All right, guys, I have left my pot to dry just a little bit. I also added a little bit of paper towel on the inside just to help that dry as well. Because once I flip it over and seal it, um, it's really not gonna have a lot of moisture who's leaving. So this just helps it stiffen up a little bit so that now I can go in and kind of just start to smooth out a little bit of imperfections here and there. Um, kind of revisit, it's nice to take some space and go back and see. This really is just about as thick as my pinky, right? You can't see it underneath. Um, anything too thin, it'll just make it crack easily. Anything too thick will have the chance of having that air bubble. So you don't need to worry about making everything smooth right now, um, but you just kinda wanna go through and check your thicknesses. I noticed on the bottom I did have this big dent, so I wanna try to get that one out. So I'm gonna push from underneath and from uh, inside at the same time to kinda work on that. So right now I'm just checking for thicknesses. Once I'm happy with the thickness of all my different spots, then I'm gonna let it sit and harden to the point where it's almost leather hard. So leather hard, you'll feel it. It doesn't have any kind of sticky texture. If I like rub this right now, it kind of like sticks to my fingers. Leather hard is when we're just beyond that. We wanna to get to almost that stage for our next step because for tomorrow, we are going to be doing, um, adding some textures to this work. So we want it to harden a little bit because right now if I want to go add in texture, I'm just going to squish my pot. So I want to get the shape that I like. And again, if I sit it like this, eventually gravity is going to start pulling down on it. So I want to put this away for today so that I can um, have it dry out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just some paper towels. You can use newspapers also. I'm going to fill it on the inside. That helps it keep its structure, but also helps dry out that side a little bit. Add a little bit more. And then I'm going to gently flip it over and place it down. Um, I got this little kind of like smudgings on here. I can gently, I'm so gently trying to get these off right now. I'm not adding water to this because right now I want it to dry. So if I added water to smooth out those things, then um, my piece is going to get too wet. So if you're going to put yours away overnight, you wanna make sure that you wrap it in some kind of plastic. Um, you guys have plastic bags. So either you can put this on top of like maybe a piece of wood or something and slide it inside of your Ziploc bag. You can even just drape this over it. Uh, you might need to put some stuff around it, maybe put your tools around it to kind of help it held down. So it dries, I want some air coming through, but I don't want too much air. Because I'm gonna come back later, I'm actually gonna leave mine totally out. So if you leave yours out and you come by and visit, because you should kind of visit every now and then just to see how it's doing, then if it's really, really dry, you can use a squirt bottle and just squirt some water on it and then cover it in plastic again. That will help make the moisture kind of silk back into it. If I just wet it and walk away, that water is just going to get evaporated right off. So you kind of have to play with the texture of your clay. Like I said, I'm leaving mine open because I'm going to wait a couple of hours and come back to make the next video. But if you're leaving yours overnight, you definitely want to wrap it. You don't have to wrap it completely but because uh, you want some air to start to dry it, but you do want to wrap it at least a little bit. Then before you go to sleep, make sure it's wrapped even tighter because the eight to 10 hours that you're not visiting it overnight, um, it's going to harden pretty quickly. It also really depends on the humidity in your house. It depends on if it's near sunlight. So really, you just have to kind of check in on your clay. It's kind of your little clay baby and you need to make sure that it's not drying too fast. So I'm gonna leave mine to be here and your next video is gonna be how do you add texture to these. See you guys soon.